This is something I didn't need. My own silly fault, and it's happened because I'm just not concentrating like I should be. So I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Um, take some time to get things under control. And one of the major parts of that is getting my work area a bit better organized. And a big part of that is getting my most important woodworking tool, doing a bit of maintenance. But I was trying to get a bit more uh, order <laughs> before I filmed it but it's just not working um, basically trying to do too many things at once um, so uh, yeah it's not a really so I, I just need to I just need to get something done so this is a really quick video on one of the modifications I'm making to my workbench to make it more usable um, uh, so yeah hope, <laughs> hope you enjoy it and forgive the stuff everywhere so this bit of wood was um, a, uh, a tool rest, or a, a part of my, the, how I was storing my tools while I was using them on the bench, but it just, it didn't work properly uh, the way I had it set up. Um, so I've taken, I took it off a while ago, and I'm just gonna make some changes to it and then put it back onto the bench. And this is a modification to the, the very basic style of medieval bench that I use, um, that I actually found in the manuscript. Uh, or a few months ago now, after I decided to do this modification though. Uh, so it was kind of gratifying that I found the, um, <laughs> I found basically someone hundreds of years ago had had the same idea of how to modify this style of bench. So what I'm going to start off with by doing is just, I want to put a, uh, uh, a chamfer on, one, on, the, on the long edge, uh, on the, along the, on the long edge of that. I'm going to start off doing that with a hewing hatchet, and then once I've done that, um, if I'm not happy with how clean it is with the hewing hatchet, I'll dress it up with a plane. So, um, unfortunately, one of the things, one of the reasons this place is such a mess is because I've been really struggling um, with my headspace, just trying to get things clear. I've come out here, I sort of wander around a bit, and then get a few things done. But struggling to th follow, having, have, struggling to get thoughts to follow through, hence, you know, projects to follow through. So I thought, right, I'll get this done. Really simple, really simple. This is something I didn't need. It's my own silly fault, and it's happened because I'm just not concentrating like I should be. Now I know better than this. When you're using, you know, recycled wood like this, it's excellent quality wood. But you just got to check that, you know, you just got to check that whether there's any nails. So there's no nail there. But, down here, there was a nail, and it's fallen out now, but, but look what I've done to my German hewing hatchet. 
I've just put what one, two, three, four, four nicks right in the blade. <sighs> Damn. So reconditioning that um, my German one was going to take too long, so I've um, switched to my my French. Not the ideal tool for this job, but um, it got it done. So what I've done is I've got a rough chamfer all the way down there. Now what I probably should do is um, plane that, but uh, yeah, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get stuff put up, and I'm not going to do, and it's probably going to be one of those things that uh, nothing is permanent as a temporary solution that works. So I probably won't get back to it. So I've got this in place um, at the back here. Uh, now I've got a, um, a very non-medieval clamp there. Uh, this piece I'm putting at the back of the bench, I've got it resting on, uh, it's just this bit of wood here to hold it in position. And I've got um, this spacer here to drop this so it sits a bit lower because the, this 2x4 um, is a bit thinner than the three inches of my bench. So that means it's actually sitting a bit low. So what I want to do, if you've watched many of my videos, you know that I love using wedges. So I'll just put that wedge in there until it comes up and touches that piece of wood there. So just sitting there. I'll go to the other end. There we go there. Okay. This gap here is so I can put tools uh, between the bench and, and the 2 before. Um, later on, what I'll do is I'll put little dowels this way and that'll provide delaminations. But basically I want this big, this big enough so I can get um, the handle of a saw down or uh, my biggest, say, mortise and tenon, uh, my biggest uh, mortising chisel will fit, fit in that gap. Right, so I've now cut Three, um, three blanks for the pegs. Um, just some wood I had lying around, which just... Hmm. Yeah, just some wood I had lying around. Um, and this is the part where I'm really gonna miss my hewing hatchet because it's perfect for this job. Um, the French one will work, but it's not as good. So I'm gonna take these to 25 mil round, or 25 mil octagons, first of all. Um, Actually, sorry, 25 mil square blanks. Then I'll take them to octagons and then round them off, and um, they'll be finished as pegs. Okay, there they are, my pegs. Um, now they're a bit rough and ready, but um, you know, it's just about get, this is about getting the job done rather than um, finesse. And a bit harder um, queuing flat surfaces with the double bevel um, French hatchet. Um, but I think. This wood, I think it might be walnut, which is um, an interesting choice of material for pegs, but anyway. So there it is, all pegged in. And it's now ready for me to start using it. Now, when I don't need things like this, I can just hang them off the back. And that's going to be allowing, allow me to have the place clearer. Things like, ooh, I might have to redo that cleat, put more of an angle on it. But anyway, progress, progress. 